The Roanoke County Sheriff says the inmate who walked off a work detail yesterday should never have been on work release to begin with because he did not qualify for the program. Yeah, this after the Sheriff's Department launched an internal investigation into the matter. 10 News reporter Shane Dwyer is here now. He's been looking into this. And uh, Shane, what is the Sheriff saying about this? Well, John and Brittany, Sheriff Eric Orange in Roanoke County says that this is an isolated incident and not indicative of the way that he runs his department. But at the end of the day, an inmate with a violent criminal history was put on work release when he shouldn't have been. This all happened yesterday afternoon. This is video that 10 News cameras captured as numerous police agencies searched for David McFall. He was on work release at the county garage. They eventually found him in the area after nearly three hours of searching. Tonight, Sheriff Eric Orange says in an email in part, based upon the crime for which McFall was convicted and the length of the sentence, we know that the staff member responsible for selection and placement failed to follow the guidelines and the guidance of the policy. Our agency uses policies and and procedures to give best practice guidance and it is my expectation that all staff follow the guidance as set forth in our policy manuals. McFall was serving three years and two months for felony robbery. According to the county's policy, inmates with violent criminal history or those convicted to more than three years are ineligible for work release. McFall met neither of those qualifications. The sheriff says McFall will likely face more charges stemming from this incident. If any action is taken against the deputy responsible for putting McFall on work release, Sheriff Orange says it will not be disclosed. Orange is up for re-election this fall. In the studio, Shane Dwyer, 10 News, working for you.